Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, jaundice in children, we will discuss it in detail. Jaundice is uh, defined as the yellow discoloration of the skin, mucous membrane of the mouth, gums, and this soft palate, sclera of the eyes. And uh, it is uh, due to the defect of the bilirubin. It is of many types according to the age. That is in the newborns. It may be at birth or after 24 hours. And in the newborn up to one month of age. Then up to one year of age. And uh, the other classification is above one year of age. So let us see in detail. Now, it is the yellow staining of the skin and the sclerae. It is a Latin word, means uh, the yellow tinge of uh, the personality, high level of the bilirubin in the blood. It is the defect in the liver conjugation and uh, the, then the liver is enlarged. And usually in the clinical method, you can just uh, palpate the liver starting from the right like fossa and keeping your hand parallel to the border of the liver that is horizontal to the border of the liver and ascending upwards and shifting your hand during uh, the expirative phase till you touch the border, lower border of the liver. If it is below the ribs, then it is indicating that uh, the liver is enlarged. It is soft and uh, tender usually in hepatitis and uh, you have to differentiate it from the heart texture of uh, the liver, which is usually in the other stages. Now, which diseases cause jaundice? They are according to the ages. In newborns, they are feeding related jaundice, congenital liver infections, genetic autoimmune diseases, blood group incompatibilities, congenital hepatobilary anomalies, <clears throat> or there could be metabolic or latrogenic or idiopathic or it could be itrogenic which is unknown cause in infants that is uh, from one month to one year of age the causes could be idiopathic metabolic infections uh, biliary atresia congenital hepatobiliary anomalies and then uh, above one year of age up to 12 years of age, the causes could be infections, metabolic or genetic conditions, stones in the bile duct, pancreatitis, which is acute or chronic, and the tumors. Differentiation between the medical jaundice and the surgical jaundice. The surgical jaundice in newborn is the hard inspired bile syndrome, which is bile sludge causing the obstruction, polydocalcis, biliary atresia, rare causes. Then in infants, the biliary atresia, polydocalcis, bile duct, calculi, spontaneous rupture of the bile duct, or the injuries. In children above one year of age, there would be the causes which are cholidocal cyst, biliary calculi, pancreatitis, injury, and uh, the tumors. Which diseases cause the jaundice? They are the following. And the causes could be the increased production of bilirubin or acute liver inflammation. There could be infiltrative liver diseases or bile duct inflammation, blockade of the bile ducts, drugs, uh, genetic disorders developmental anomalies of the bile ducts and the jaundice of uh, the pregnancy in uh, the women. What problems do jaundice cause? 
that could be skin and sclera yellow discoloration fatigue swelling ascites mental confusion coma bleeding stool is light colored or clay colored or there could be dark urine pain in abdomen and uh, the itching trouble with sleep which is disturbed now one by one the jaundice in newborn babies is uh, normal why it is uh, due to the commonly it is more than 50% of normal newborns and 80% of the preterm infants they could have the degree of the jaundice there are two types of the neonatal jaundice which are normal which is physiological and abnormal which is non physiological why the production in term newborns that is bilirubin production is two to three times higher than in adults because of uh, the excessive hemoglobin which is broken down the hemoglobin excess is from the mother transferred from the placenta to the fetus and then the newborn the to get rid of the excessive hemoglobin the nature has provided the breakdown of the hemoglobin when it is released is its by product is the bilirubin which is overloaded and then that is not uh, properly dealt with by the enzymes which are uh, not so fully formed up to 3 months of age so that's why the extra amount of the indirect bilirubin that is uh, excreted through the stools and uh, the urine and then it causes uh, the yellow discoloration now the clearance uh, is decreased in the newborns mainly due to deficiency of the enzyme glucuronide transferase the activity of uh, this enzyme in term infants at 7 days is uh, 1% of the adult liver and uh, doesn't reach the adult levels until the 14 weeks then the circulation is uh, the increase in enterohepatic circulation of the bilirubin or the further increase in the bilirubin load in preterm infants even more rbc turnover and destruction there is physiologically impaired conjugation and elimination of the bilirubin and even less mature liver or the reduced bowel motility due to inadequate oral intake there could be delayed elimination of the meconium and there could be increased enterohepatic circulation the physiologic jaundice appears around 72 hours of life and it is the bilirubin peaks put more than less than 14 mg per cent now it is usually the jaundice which is after the first day of life that is physiological and before 24 hours or first day but from birth to 24 hours is pathological jaundice so we have to inquire in detail the history from the attendant especially the mother yellow discoloration appeared after one day or before that and then you have to differentiate and treat it accordingly the direct bilirubin which is less than 10% of the total bilirubin and uh, the rate of rise that is uh, 5 mg more than 5 mg percent per day again repeating that the bilirubin peaks that is uh, less up to 14 mg per not exceeding this the direct bilirubin which is uh, also 10% of the total bilirubin and the rate of rise is about 5 mg per cent per day the jaundice resolves in 1 to 2 weeks in term in kind and it takes uh, more time to resolve and it is up to 2 weeks in preterm infants
non physiological jaundice uh, is the early jaundice that starts on the first day of life and jaundice of long duration it is more than 14 days that is more than 2 weeks in term and more than 3 weeks in preterm infants the deep jaundice that is in the palms and soles deeply yellow objectively high bilirubin lab levels the jaundice uh, is uh, with the enlargement of the liver must check the jaundice in the newborn baby or the inquire about the stools on the right side you will appreciate the five slides which are in the healthy stool this normal color whereas on the low panel you will find that uh, it is uh, off white white or clay color that is abnormal stool this is on the left side is the normal stool and on the right side slide is the abnormal stool and then the work up that is lab lab studies we are possible to confirm clinical jaundice with bilirubin levels possible additional investigations that depending on likely diagnosis and lab availability hemoglobin hematocrit that is packed cell volume to look for hemolysis then you can inquire about the blood smear reticulocyte count and then to wbc to look for signs of infection wbc is more than 5 1000 per cubic millimeter or wbc more than 20000 the it ratio which is more than 20% the blood type of the baby and the mother and the comb test then the syphilis serology that is vdrl g6 pd screening thyroid function test and the liver ultrasound the jaundice and uh, its effect is that it deposits in the skin and the mucous membranes leading to yellow discoloration on the exposed parts and you can pick it up in unconjugated gated bilirubin the deposits are in the brain and uh, acute bilirubin encephalopathy can occur and uh, this is the permanent neurological damage that is in carnectress if the level of the indirect bilirubin exceeds more than 20 mg per cent on the first day or according to the age on the second third day it is 25 or on the fifth day it is uh, 26 27 then there are chances that the indirect bilirubin will cross the blood brain barrier and it will deposit in the basal ganglia which are five in number and then you will find the extra pyramidal signs and symptoms and the child when becomes older uh, will be handicapped uh, mentally retarded and could have the fits so in order to make your child to be the befitted one should uh, take the responsibility especially the doctor not to have the indirect bilirubin to such an extent that it should cross the blood brain barrier but that you have to immediately interfere if it is the touching according to the day after birth the maximum level then you have to resort for immunoglobulins or exchange transfusion that is to change the blood with the normal healthy blood group so that uh, it, the the level of bilirubin is diluted and it should not uh, cross the blood brain barrier jaundice then is the jaundice in children that could be hepatitis a and it is uh, transmitted by flies may carry disease such as hepatitis a or they can cause typhoid amoebic dysentery polio by contaminating food or water it is transmitted by contaminated food water or contact with a person who is currently ill with the disease the hepatitis a is shed in the stools of an 
infected person during the incubation period of 15 to 45 days before symptoms occur and during the first week of illness. Blood and other body secretions may also be infected. The virus doesn't remain in the body after the infection has resolved and there is no carrier stage person or animal that spreads the disease to others but doesn't uh, become ill. Then the symptoms associated with hepatitis A are fever, poor appetite, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, jaundice, yellow discoloration. It is because the liver is not able to filter the bilirubin from the blood. The risk factor include having a family member who recently had hepatitis A, the contaminated cow's milk that is taken and then the, through GIT that can have the hepatitis and usually it is the hepatitis A. These are the hepatitis A virus diagram. Then the other causes could be drink only boil. No, in order to prevent it, you have to safeguard and more than 50% of prevention can be by boiling water. And then there is the hepatitis B transmitted via blood and other blood fluids. Infection can occur through contact with blood in healthcare settings. This puts the physicians, nurses, dentists, and other healthcare persons at risk. Blood transfusion, sharing needles during drug use, receiving a tattoo or acupuncture with contaminated instruments. Birth at infected mother can transmit the virus to the baby during delivery or shortly thereafter. Now this, these are the syringes which are bad hygienic and they can just have the prick and transmit it to cause hepatitis A. The other hepatitis could be C, E. The prevention uh, is necessary by the vaccinations. And uh, the other causes could be the calculus, which is stone can present with the jaundice, especially the stones in the bile duct. That is obstructive jaundice. Suspect, investigate, and then treat it. Care for all babies, jaundice, that is risk factors identified and additional inspection within 48 hours and then examine for jaundice at every opportunity, especially in the first 24 hours. No more than 24 hours of age, visible jaundice, yes, then the medical emergency Measure and record the serum bilirubin within two hours. Neonatology, pediatric and medical review within six hours. Four days to 10 days jaundice, which is physiological jaundice. And it appears after uh, the first day and lasts for about 10 days. The late onset of prolonged jaundice could be the jaundice more than 10 days or prolonged check the stool color, further investigate, require, requiring uh, the other uh, color of the stool, that could be clay color, that will indicate the obstructive element on seek the expert advice. Thank you very much. The problems with the delay if a significant brain damage occur before the treatment, a child can develop serious and permanent problems such as the cerebral palsy, a condition that affects a child movement and coordination hearing loss which can recognize from mild to severe learning difficulty, involuntary twitching, problems maintaining the eyes and the normal development of the teeth can be disrupted in teeth that are Mishappen, discolored, and vulnerable to decay. Two forms of for the hyperbilirubinemia, which is unconjugated and indirect hyperbilirubinemia, that is prehepatic cause or impairment in conjugation, versus the conjugated, which is direct hyperbilirubinemia, which is injury at the level of hepatocytes or post hepatic obstruction. Consider diagnosis of conjugated hyperbilirubinemia if direct bilirubin is more than three milligrams per cent or is more than 10% of the total bilirubin. Now differential diagnosis of uh, the unconjugated 
hyperbilirubinemia could be breastfeeding jaundice or uh, the breast milk hemolysis infections or the other causes could be hypothyroidism gilbert disease and clicker the jaundice syndrome the conjugated hyperbilirubinemia could be by bilirubin at least 60 percent of cases obstructive in cause the other could be infections by the hepatitis b or torch infections or metabolic which is galactosemia alpha 1 dubin johnson or rotter syndrome hydrogenic drug mediated tpn related and the idiopathic could be neonatal non infectious hepatitis the concern uh, about the carnectress the bilirubin exceeds albumin binding capacity crosses uh, the blood brain barrier and deposits on the basal ganglia and brain stem nuclei the risk increases with level more than 20 mg percent or the low levels in setting of sepsis meningitis hemolysis hypothermia hypoglycemia or prematurity signs of carnectress could be acute sequelae which is poor sucking lethargy hypotonia fits uh, then hypertonia that is opisthotonus and the retrocolis fever high pitched cry chronic sequelae choreoathetoid movement gaze paralysis and sensor real neural hearing loss the mental retardation pause analysis of the carnectress early discharge more than 48 hours without follow up within 48 hours failure to check bilirubin level when jaundice within 24 hours of life failure to recognize risk factors delay in initiating the treatment failure to respond to the parental concerns to assess the risk factors and bulk up the maternal causes race or ethnic group asian abo rh incompatibility the previous jaundiced infant in advanced maternal age diabetes in infants the gestation more than 38 weeks bruising cephalohematoma infection g6pd polycythemia and male gender the nutritional causes could be weight loss decreased the feeding frequency decreased stooling decreased urine output normal serum bilirubin is 0.3 to 1 mg jaundice increased level of serum bilirubin that is more than 1 mg over production of the bilirubin which is hemolytic from hemolysis of the rbc lysis of rbc precursors impaired hepatic functions or obstruction to the bile flow extra hepatic obstruction all cause the jaundice first step is estimate the serum bilirubin is it less than 1 mg is normal is it more than 1 mg it is elevated second step is if the serum bilirubin more than 1 mg is it unconjugated or the hemolytic jaundice is it conjugated bilirubin that is more than 20% of the conjugated bilirubin hepatocellular could be or obstructive jaundice in unconjugated bilirubin the hemolytic jaundice is uncommon the hemolytic disorders and anemia inherited spherocytosis or g6pd coed uh, maha and pnh ineffective erythropoiesis b12 vitamin deficiency drug rifampicin or probenecid inherited crigler nadjar third step is increased ast or alt the old name of sgot and sgpt these are the liver enzymes which uh, they conjugate the indirect bilirubin to the direct bilirubin. the elevated ast and alt hepatocellular jaundice the alkaline phosphate is 5 and ggt will be normal do alkaline phosphate ggt alkaline phosphate is increased in obstructive ast alt will be normal four step could be hepatocellular features and differential diagnosis and uh, the the all or the causes which are narrated then laboratory test bilirubin level minotransferase alkaline phosphatase 
or bilirubin, urobilin, complete blood count, prothrombin, other laboratory tests are uh, pertinent to history. They could be comb tests, electrophoresis of uh, the hemoglobin or the viral hepatitis panel. Thank you very much.